Los Alamos National Laboratory is helping NASA scientists learn more about our place in the galaxy and how the sun protects our solar system. News 13's Annalisa Pardo has details on the mission taking off. Lift off. Go Falcon, go IMAP, go Swifo L1, and go Corruptor. Three missions taking off to track space weather, including this NASA Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe, otherwise known as IMAP. And we are flying three new missions on a million mile journey. IMAP will study the heliosphere, which is the protective bubble surrounding the sun and planets inflated by particles from the sun called solar wind. And this out of the world mission also has ties close to home. IMAP has 10 instruments, two of which were made at Los Alamos National Laboratory. One is an uh, electron instrument that samples electrons in the solar wind as it flows by. And the other instrument is going to remotely look at the boundary of the sun's space environment. And we're going to be able to see what happens when that solar wind hits that boundary. Lionel scientists say the information from space can help us here on Earth. These moving particles also create electric fields which can uh, disrupt GPS signals that we depend on for many things and can also couple into our power grid. Uh, leading to failures of our power grid on Earth. Understanding the storm can help us keep our systems safe. Our laboratory, Los Alamos National Laboratory, is uh, dedicated to this endeavor because our involvement in IMAP allows us to innovate designs for future satellites, not only for uh, scientific discoveries, but also for national security purposes. Annalisa Pardo, KRQE News 13. IMAP will travel for four months to reach its destination, which is a million miles from Earth towards the sun.